Hey, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to solder a wire to wire connection. Um, you know, it can, it can sound oversimplified, but you know, in order to get a really tight joint and a strong joint, um, you need to use this technique with splitting the wire like I'm doing here. Um, take the strands, don't twist them up. Once you strip the wire down, take strands and split it into three parts, three equal parts in an even like triangular pattern um, and try to get those little those little um, bunches together nice and tight as good as you can you're going to do the same thing on the other wire that you're going to be soldering it to you can go ahead and twist those little strands up um, that actually helps out quite a bit for not getting frays and, and everything all messy so as you can see right there split it into three parts that's exactly what you want to do. Now there's plenty of different techniques people use for soldering wire to wire, but this one it makes the strongest joint and um, you won't have a failure with this type of joint. Same thing on this side, I'm just showing the exact same thing. Split it into three different parts. Try to make it as, as even as you can. It's not it's not technical. Twist those individual ones up. Now the part where you put them together might take just a little bit of practice. Um, but it's not bad. So you have the joints like that. Going toward each other a little bit. You put them just like that in between each other. Then you push all of them down. Push all those flat and then you twist while holding them still twist the entire wire around this joins the whole thing together and it's actually pretty strong before you even solder it and when you solder this piece that's going to make a perfect joint just turning my soldering iron on here Got this new butane one. I love the thing. Um, I'll edit some of this out. There we go. All right, so tin your soldering iron. Get some solder on the tip there. Um, same thing as tinning. This is basically tinning a wire at this point. You're going to apply heat at the bottom and just push the solder right into the wire. Push it until it's nice, nice and even and filled out. Don't you don't want to apply heat too long because you can start melting your wire coatings. But um, you know whatever you're comfortable with. If the wire coating gets melted a little bit, no big deal. Normally, you know you would have heat shrink tubing already on the wire there and push that out and then heat shrink it on over the uh, the exposed joint. But this is just for um, teaching purposes, so I did not do that. You can see I'm pulling pretty hard on this thing. This is just this is a really solid joint. If you do this technique, you are not going to get a stronger joint than that. Hands down. I could hang from this. Hope you guys enjoy.